Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1935 florin, or two shilling coin, as we see now on the screen. Firstly I'll talk about the design of this coin, and then we'll move on to the facts and figures of this coin. So then, the design. The design was done by George Kruger Grey, and the initials KG for Kruger Grey can be seen right at the bottom of the coin. There is also then a G in the middle for George V, who the coin was made for under his reign. There are four crowns on four scepters in between four shields. There are two shields with the three lions of England on, one with the harp of Ireland on, and one with the rampant lion of Scotland. Around the design is the legend reading Fid Def, Ind Imp. This is abbreviated Latin and translates to Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. At the bottom it says 1935, one florin, which is the date and denomination of this coin. One florin was two shillings as I've said. Now then, we move on to the obverse of this coin. The obverse design features the portrait of George V. He's facing to the left and is uncrowned, and has a very nice detail in his beard, moustache and hair when the coins are not so worn. This design was done by Bertram McKennell, whose initials you can just make out on the king's neck. Around the king is the legend once again, in Latin and at some parts abbreviated Latin, and it translates to George V, by the grace of God, king of all the Britons. The usual sort of stuff for the legend to say. Around the legend you can just make out beading or teeth around the rim of the coin, this is on both sides and there is a milled edge around the rim, this is to stop people clipping or shaving parts of the coin off for their own profit. Now then, we move on to the facts and figures of the 1935 florin. The coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin weighs 11.3 grams and so is a fairly heavy coin at the time. The composition of this coin is 50% silver and 50% manganese. This is because between 1920 and 1947 all coins were debased to 50% silver from sterling and then after 1947 there were no silver. The diameter of this coin is 28.5mm, so again it's a fairly large coin, and the mintage of the 1935 florin is 7,540,546, which is sort of average, not too rare but not too common. The florin was a 24 pence coin, which is two shillings as I've said, and one tenth of a pound sterling, so ten to the pound. In 1935 though, one florin was equal to nine pounds and twelve pence today, so it's fairly similar to today maybe having a ten pound note, back then you'd have a one florin coin, and although it was a twenty-four pence coin, it had much more buying power, as you can see. So then, speaking of values and buying, what are the values of a 1935 florin? One in poor condition will sell for around five pounds due to the silver content, in extremely fine you could pay up to seventeen pounds, and for one in uncirculated condition with all the details still there, £65, so it's a fairly affordable coin. But a good design nonetheless. Comment down below if you have a 1935 florin in your collection. And of course while you're down there commenting don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it's always appreciated by us. Thank you for watching again and we'll see you next time on Bits and Bobs for some more coin videos. Bye!